Cancer, this is the guidance goddess of unique readings and tarot. And I'm here to guide you for your week of June 20th to June 26th, 2021. I ask God to use me as a vessel, to use me to speak through me clear and accurate messages for you guys. Um in ways to overcome obstacles and challenges and to be able to defeat them on a day-to-day -day basis, which means I'll do Sunday, June 20th, all the way to Saturday, June 26th, and I do day-to-day -day messages, and I'm really, really excited to be able to share this new spread with you. Um, I've been working hard. I've been working hard on coming up with something where I can help you all out day to day. Um, like if any day that you are going through anything, you can always come back to the guidance goddess of unique regions and tarot and look on, look in your week, weekly messages and um, go to the day. I, I'm doing day to day and I'll let you know some things that you might want to look at it, know the reason why you're going through something, and this could help you overcome obstacles so you can evolve and be a better you and, and, and reach the hash you, okay? The hash you is waiting on you, but you have to heal. You have to love yourself. You have to overcome obstacles and challenges and be able to evolve and do this without too much of nothing to thank it. You have to be able to clear your energy. God, I ask you to speak through me. Use me as a vessel, dear Lord, as I speak to my cancer collective. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. It's time that we start praying more. It's time that we believe in ourselves. It's time that we have faith. Okay, so like I told my other um, signs, like, what's the point of fishing if you're going to throw this big old fishing pole out into the water and you don't have any bait? Okay? So, yeah, you can pray. But when you pray, have that bait. Have faith. Okay? Have faith that God is going to come and he's going to show out for you, for being great, for being the best you. Um, know that God is always there and he's listening and he's just waiting on you to talk with him. Okay? God is so amazing. He really is and I'm just so blessed and thankful to be able to have this ability to be able to share with you all because I really want the world to be a better place. You know, people say this and they go through one ear and not the other, but I really, truly, genuinely have a good heart of gold. You know, I don't take what I do lightly. I am a healer. I do want to apologize for last week for not being here for you all. But I do want to say that in order for me to be able to heal others, I have to heal myself. And I've been going through situations and obstacles myself. You know, with retrograde, full moon, and Sagittarius, a lot of things that's been happening in my life. And um, I've been trying to, you know, I'm just trying to stay focused and prayed up. You know, the advice that I give out to people, I use for myself. When I can tell you that God has not left me, I forsake me. Okay? He has been a protective shield over my body and my life and everything that I'm going through. Because I pray I have faith. And I'm living for him. And when you live for him, you are guided. You are protected. Okay? So I'm trying to get you to where you live in your purpose for God. I'm trying to get you to where you don't feel burdened no more. That you can know what you want in life and speak up for yourself and have confidence and love yourself more than anyone has ever said or attempted to love you. Um, Self-love is the best love. And I just want to be here to help people live a successful, happy, abundant life. 
Like, with God on your side, anything and everything is possible. He makes the impossible possible, I'm here to tell you. And no matter what, I know that I want to serve my purpose. I want to communicate with God and let God communicate with me to be able to help heal you all. Like, God blessed me with the ability to be psychic. And it took a lot of healing to be able to get to that point. It wasn't easy by far to be able to, I feel like in my heart, be blessed with this ability. So I'm using it for his purpose. I'm using it for you all. I'm using my ability to guide you, to motivate you, to inspire you, to help you overcome obstacles and challenges in your life day to day. So like, you will definitely get something from this channel. If you don't mind liking my channel, subscribing, ringing that bell, getting notified of any time that I drop a download. Um, I just know that I'm here to help you. And I love you, Cancer. Okay? I really do. Like, I love my Cancers. Y'all can, can be a bit emotional. And sometimes, a, a lot of times, cancers don't trust a lot of people, you know? They don't let a lot of people win, so cancers just know that I might not know you, and I might not shook your hand physically, but if you're guided to my channel, it's because God has a message for you, and he's speaking through me. So, I encourage you to take this channel seriously. I encourage you to tell a friend. I encourage you to share on your social media. I encourage you to stay tuned and ring that bell because, baby, it's time. It's time that we live our best life. And our best life through God, for God. Okay? Um, I've already pre-shuffled your cords. I'm ready to go ahead and step right in for my Cancer Collective from June 20th to June 26th, 2021. Let's start with Sunday, June 20th. This court is requiring you to listen on June 20th. In my house of night, there will be a beautiful girl with the skin the color of dork honey who has the gift of poetry she is able to weave tales with great detail and expression yet without being obvious or straightforward reading between the lines and finding true meaning are what are required right now listen and learn what others don't say is what is important at this moment this indicates that you are meant to listen to what others are saying with their gestures rather than with their words, okay? So with this listening cord, let's start listening to gestures. When I say actions speak louder than words, they most certainly do. Let's listen to gestures, not what someone say. <laughs> I love you. But because they said I love you, does that mean they really love you? No, at this present moment, that look like they didn't. <coughs> Gestures go a long way. Way longer than words. Actions go a long way. Speaks louder than words. On Sunday, you might have to jump out on a leap of faith and do what's best for you. Because you're listening to gestures and not words. Okay? You've been burdened. You might want to start traveling, packing up, and leaving, and doing your own thing you're required to have faith okay you're required to pray stay humble stay grounded okay trust in the process okay stay stable in your grounded energy Okay, Cancer? 
for Monday, June 21st, we have hope. On Sunday, June 21st, it's requiring you to have hope. When the moon is hidden at the darkest forest, it is hard to see your next step. And it is easy to give in to the fear and that there will be safety or light again. I am here to guide you when you have lost your way. Whispering to you to maintain faith, the good things will come your way once more. Take one step forward toward your dream. I will take two steps towards you to help you achieve it, God says. Have hope and only God, good, will come out of it. When you choose this symbol, when you choose this symbol of hope, know that no matter what temporary setbacks there may be in your life, now, light will return again. So, it may be dark at this present moment, but there will be light again. I encourage you to maintain faith that good things will come once your way. Take one step forward and God will help you take two steps more to help you get to your dream. But you have to have faith. You have to stay encouraged. Sometimes we have to encourage ourselves. It's up to us the type of life we want to live, okay? So, on Monday, the 21st, you need to hope. You need to have hope on making creative decisions that you have passion for. You are told to use your intuition, okay? About your love and prosperity, fulfillment, enjoyment, success, your happiness, okay? On Tuesday, June 22nd, you have loyalty. Loyalty is number 33. Loyalty is powerful. Do you know the story of a beautiful red vampire who saw the good in another and remained steadfast in her in her love against all odds? Loyalty is tested at times, and you may be asked to as is whether others deserve your loyalty. Assesses. Assess whether others deserve your deserve your loyalty. Sometimes you find yourself in a position where it is difficult to speak up for another person, a cause, or even for yourself. Now is the time to be faithful to your best qualities and to leave the rest behind. This is a true test of character. I know you would choose rightly. Stand up for what you believe and be loyal only to what is true and good. You may have chosen the symbol of loyalty, and this means you are being called to stand up for who and what you believe in. On Tuesday, the 22nd, you are called to have loyalty. And um, I'm so sorry, but happy birthday to my cancer this show season, baby. So, cancers, you have to be loyal to yourself. June 22nd. Be loyal to yourself. Even though you look at these past memories. Even though you look at how you can have an equal give and share and take with your love. You want an equal give and share and take. So you need to be loyal to yourself. You know how to be loyal to yourself more than anyone can be loyal to you. It starts with you. You are told to meditate. You are told to get your thoughts together. To lay in your nest. To get your heart together. To heal. You 
You are told to heal. You may get unwelcome news, legal doc documents, or maybe even dealing with gossip. Be loyal to yourself. You deserve loyalty. Look at that with the page. The page of wands is loyal to himself. Swords is all about truth. Sorry, I said the page of wands. Page of swords is all about truth. Loyalty. Because you are the queen of cups. Be loyal to yourself. You are beautiful. You got a lot of love to give. You've been hurt. But you're not going to give your love up to any, just any and everybody. So learn how to be loyal to yourself. On Tuesday the 22nd. On Wednesday the 23rd. You have love. that love in all forms is in your life now. There is a responsibility to this also. You must give love freely without conditions and love others because your heart is open. There is something else here to consider love. Consider. Love can be confusing forced too and can sometimes ask a sacrifice of you. If your heart is aching and feels like it's broken, know that love has a greater love for you later. No matter where you are in life right now, love has come to guide you into an important experience. Trust love. My child, my wondrous one, it's time to celebrate because love is calling to you. So open your heart and receive my blessings. Love is here. Wednesday the 23rd. Because you have been burdened. You deserve love. The will is turning in your favor. Love is on your side. Love is coming in quick. Love, you are seeking escape. You are looking out for your love. It's coming in quick, baby. It's coming in quick. And look how you looking at that love. Coming in quick, baby. You've been burdened. But as you stand on the wheel of fortune, baby, luck is on your side. Don't worry about them wands right there. Love is in the earth. Thursday. The war, the warrior. Thursday, you have the warrior. Whether you are experiencing right now, whatever you are experiencing right now, I will be well. If you, if your question is regarding love, the court represents someone who is deeply committed, protective, and kind to you. Friendship and love are sacred, and these qualities are important for a relationship to grow. If this person doesn't have these qualities, then move on, for I will send you someone with a true warrior spirit instead. Remember, life is about learning and discerning what is true and who is not. There is another message here to consider. Do you, do you embody these qualities in yourself? Now's a good time to think about how committed you are to your path. My beloved child, when the warrior appears to you, it is such a fortunate sign that no matter what is happening to you in your life, you are truly protected. You are protected by God himself. God is leading your way. You are divinely guided, Cancer. Okay? You are a warrior. Look at this. You are a warrior. You've been defeated. You have been truly defeated. 
you are waiting on love to come in. You are waiting on your money to come in. You are waiting on things to come in that's right for you because you have been indecisive. Okay? You have to look out and wait because you've been indecisive. You've been hoping and wishing to balance things out. You know, because you've been defeated. You feel you feel as if you're the warrior, but let me tell you something, baby. Warriors are protected. You are protected. You are divinely guided. What you've been hoping and wishing for will come to life. You keep having faith. That's all God says. Pray and have faith. You get this. Friday, June 25th. Individuality. Beautiful. Cancer, you got some beautiful stuff going on this week, honey. Uh, let's see. Individuality. I have marked one young vampire in a way that a unique set in her apart from others. You have been marked, setting you apart from all others. Choosing this symbol is important because it reminds you to reflect on your, on your unique qualities. It also reminds you, you are not to compare yourself with others. Don't compare yourself with others. You have unique qualities that make you, you, Cancer. This is a fatal exercise because no one is the same. No one's beauty is greater or lesser than yours. No one's life is better or less than yours. Others may seem happy doing things a certain way, but if you feel as if you're compromising yourself to fit in, don't. If you are trying to compromise yourself to fit in, don't. It's not the right move. God is saying it's not the right move. People will love you for you. You are not someone you are trying to be. You are not someone you are trying to be. Your task her is only to be yourself. You can't be no one else. You are her to be yourself. Remember that. This is a powerful saying. No two snowflakes can ever be the same. Just as you are special and unique too, this is something to celebrate. Your individuality makes you the perfect you. Okay? Don't worry about chaos, conflict, and debate. Remember who you are. Yeah. Remember that people could be looking at you on your social media with this page of swords. People could be trying to figure out your next move and on this Friday people could see you moving truthfully and honest flying from the sky from God using his gift and your gift of individuality to stand out be better than you ever been. To reach the high shoe. Because baby, you got decisions. You got options. You got big things going on. So baby, it's time to know who you are. And love yourself. Individuality makes you you. On Saturday, June 26th, we have belonging. Okay. Number 41. When you choose this symbol, you have joined in the community of beauty, friendship, and secrets only shared and known among my chosen ones. You are chosen to belong. This symbol also tells you that you are the, in the right place right now. You are home. Be home inside yourself. Learn to be comfortable in your own skin. When you choose this symbol, 
Know that the goddess of night have chosen you. I know you have been searching for a whole life for a sense of belonging, a feeling of home and acceptance. Feel comfortable in your own skin. Love the person that you are. Okay? Be content. Know what home is. Know what makes you happy. Consider that the truth that came in about in clarity, this came in for yourself to know that you're content in your skin. Okay? The time has came. The time has came where people will be seen for what it, they are. The truth will come out. Clarity will come out. Okay? People will be seen for what they are. The truth will come out and you will be enlightened, okay? About how comfortable you are in your skin on June 26th. Now let's go. I got some angel messages for you. Let's see what the angels have to say to end your reading, okay? For the Cancer Collective, June 26th to June. Oh, wow, okay. Listen to your intuition is at the bottom of the deck. If you believe within the next few weeks, get more information, okay? Whatever that's about. The messages came out for you, Council. If you believe within the next few weeks, get more information. <clears throat> Look for a sign. Reconsider. Yes, you need to reconsider and look for a sign. Wow, Cancers. It's a learning week for us all. You are not in it by yourself. Let's do a recap. On Monday, start listening to people's gestures and not their words. Have faith and pray and jump out on a leap of faith. Do what's best for you. On Monday, have hope. Have hope about decisions and the passion that you have in creativity. Use your intuition about your prosperity, your fulfillment, and the love you have for people. Tuesday, loyalty is what you need to work on. Loyalty to yourself. Okay? Know that you deserve equal give and share and take of love. Even though you may look at past memories. You need to meditate and pray because gossip may have you defeated, okay? All you want is loyalty and truth. You know who you are. You are the queen of cups. You are beautiful. You are elegant. You deserve love. Wednesday, love. You have been burdened. As you stand on the wheel of fortune, the wheel is going your way and love is coming in quick. For Thursday, you have the warrior. Even though you've been defeated, you're waiting on your ships to come in. You've been indecisive and hoping and wishing and ba to balance things out. Friday. Individuality. Even though you have conflicted thoughts, know who you are. Okay? Know that you deserve truth and loyalty and honesty. People may be checking out your social media. People may be enlightened and seeing how you are a gift falling from the sky, a blessing. You are a blessing falling from the sky. That's what people need to realize. Be honest with yourself. You got options. Creative decisions you got, creative options you need to work on. Belonging, knowing, being comfortable in your skin. Let pe the things come to light that's going to come to light. And, and truth that you've been enlightened on is coming. On Saturday, the 26th of 2021. I 
All right, Cancers, it's been a pleasure and a blessing to be able to guide you through the week of June 20th to June 26th, 2021. My blessing, my blessing comes from helping you, okay? I love what I do. I endure, and I take this very, very seriously to help heal you and guide you day by day. Okay? If you ever feel like you are going through something, go check out the goddess, goddess of unique readers and sorrows and see what she's talking about on that day. Maybe it's something that you could benefit and learn from. If you got any motivation, inspiration, encouragement, any enlightenment and anything out of this video, if maybe you come back and see that it does resume, resonate, just leave a comment, drop a comment, like my channel, give me a thumbs up. Ring that bell to get notified about any time I drop a download, okay? I would love for you to continue to support this channel. If you was led this way, it's because God has a message for you. I asked him to use me as a vessel and speak through me, so God has a message for you. I am very, very, very happy about how much people are learning i promise you, if you stick with me you will get a lot out of this this is truly truly a blessing i want to thank god shout out to god and holy spirit for uh for the the precise and clear and accurate messages I'm pretty much sure that a lot of people will be able to resonate with this. If not, I'm reading the highest energy. So, um, I know that you will get something from this channel, okay? Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Like I said, like, like, and subscribe. I love you, Cancers, and I'm wishing you the best. You got this. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to guide you. I am the goddess, goddess of unique readings and tarot. And I'm blessed and highly favored to be able to guide you today. Thank you so much. Good luck on this week. Like I said, you got this. Bye, Cancers. I love you. See you next week.